this is a Hyundai i10 with a battery drain. It goes dead after a few days of not being used. I'm checking for a battery drain with a multimeter. This car's got a battery drain and what I've noticed is it's had some aftermarket stuff fitted. So I've checked that and there seems to be this this one here has got a drain on it. And after doing some tests it goes to this fuse. Right there. It's a 50 milliamp drain on there. This one when I put a an ammeter in series, it was only 0 0.1 of an amp drain, so almost nothing. This one was, when I put the ammeter in series across here, it was 50 milliamps, and that, that's on all the time, because the way they've got it into that fuse, it says it's for the dome light, but it does more than the, the light. It's going to other things too. One of the things is the back of here, where they've took the power, the 16 pin, that one at the bottom right here, in the corner, that's the power, the battery power, so they've joined into that, and that's why it was on all the time, 50 milliamp drain, since they've got this tracker that's somewhere way up there, don't think you'll see it. But it's like Joe and Joe's Auto Electrical always says, if there's anything aftermarket, check that first. So what I've done, just for now for testing it, is I've cut the wire there, so it's not part of that. And the drain's okay. I've got it going into here, which isn't quite right. They've got the blue wire is going into the ignition. So it's ignition feed. And the red wire was powered all the time. But like I say, that was 0.1 of a milliamp drain. So I would think that would be the memory. And this one was 50 milliamp drain. So I'd think that's the one that's the main power. So that one I've done to the ignition feed. It's almost like it was, except now the power is not going to drain here. Now I'm right down to 11 milliamp strain. Everything's connected. Apart from that, obviously, I've got this in series, but I mean the whole car's built up. With the key off, I've got 11 milliamp strain instead of 50. So I'm happy with that. This car's had several batteries fitted, and they just keep going dead, and they just keep putting new batteries on. So now we fixed it by finding the drain and fixing it properly, but looking for anything aftermarket first just seemed to be a helpful way, and in this case it was that's exactly what it was again, just wired up incorrectly when it was put on. Hopefully this is helpful to somebody, even if you've not got a tracker. Look for something that's non-standard to the car that's been added on afterwards and check that, using the multimeter across the the fuse and check for a voltage drop. If you go across the fuse like this, we're checking millivolts, not amps, but we're looking for a drawer, and there you can see it's now 0 0.1 millivolts, which is almost nothing, so we're happy with that. We do need to keep some things for like the radio, keeping that alive and the alarm, so that's totally fine. That equates to um, the 11 milliamps that we see at the battery, so it's small. If there was no drain at all, you'd just go across one. If I can do it, can I do it one handed? Like that. And we've got absolutely nothing. So that's why we know it's milli volts that we're checking, but there's no amps drawn on that one. So I did the same test here. I put this in, not across the fuse, I actually went into the milliamps, and that's how I knew this one when it's powered up um, using an ammeter without the fuse, so it's going through the ammeter, it was showing 50 milliamps and that was 0 0.1 milliamps and that's what made me realize it looks like they've just wired the wires the wrong way around so that this one should be on all the time and that should have been the switched one with the ignition I hope this has been helpful to somebody, even though I didn't show you the diagnosis. I just went over what I found. Check anything that's aftermarket first.